Hi, so this was the second puzzle of day 11 of our 15 days math smart puzzle challenge where we have to find the area of the shaded region or you can say you had to find the area of X where the number on each section actually represents its area. So yes, it is actually a very simple problem to solve but before solving that let's rediscuss about the area of parallelogram. So suppose this is a parallelogram and the area of the parallelogram is given as base multiplied by height where this is the base of the parallelogram and this is the height of the parallelogram. If I draw a perpendicular from any vertex to the base, that will be the height of parallelogram. So this will be the height of the parallelogram. And if I draw any diagonal, this parallelogram gets divided into two triangles where area of each triangle is actually equal to 1 by 2 base into height. And in both the cases, base is also same and height is also same. And as long as I keep the length of the base same and also the height the same, all the triangles of the same base and same height will have the same area. So the area of this triangle will be actually equal to the area of this triangle, which will be equal to the half of the area of the parallelogram. And at the same time, the area of this triangle will be equal to the sum of the areas of the these two triangles right here this is the base and here if I assume this as base 1 and this much as base 2 then these two triangles which I have shaded in red will have the same height as the triangle which I have shaded in green so area of green triangle will be 1 by 2 base into height and the area of red triangle if I call this as triangle number 1 and this as triangle number 2 then the sum of the areas of triangle 1 and triangle 2 will be equal to 1 by 2 base 1 into height plus 1 by 2 base 2 into height and this will be equal to 1 by 2 height multiplied by base 1 plus base 2 and base 1 plus base 2 is nothing but the total base and similar concept is actually used over here to find the value of this x. So how do we do that? So let us first name this parallelogram as A, B, C, D and I am going to name these points also as E, F, G and this point I'll name as H. So if I talk about the area of this triangle, area of triangle A, G, P, this will be equal to half of the area of the parallelogram. A, B, C, D, right? And when I talk about the sum of the areas of this triangle and this triangle, their total base is equal to the base of the parallelogram and height is same as the height of the parallelogram. So the area of triangle A, E, H plus triangle H, F, B, this will also be equal to the half of the area of parallelogram A, B, C, D. That means the area of triangle A, G, B will be equal to the sum of the areas of triangle A, E, H and triangle H, F, B. And if we talk about the area of triangle A, G, B, this is equal to A plus B plus 10 plus X plus 20 plus 21 a b 10 x 20 and 21 and this is equal to the area of triangle a e d that is a plus 25 plus 7 plus the area of triangle h f b that is plus b plus 20 plus 5 so if i solve this this a will get cancelled because it is on both the sides of the equal to sign this p will also get cancelled because this is also at both the sides of the equal to sign and from here i'll have x plus 10 plus 20 30 plus 21 51 this is equal to 25 plus 25 that is 50 plus 7 57 so from here x will be equal to 57 minus 51 that is 6 units so the area of this shaded region will be equal to 6 so yes it was 
little tricky but i think it's very simple and uh, if you have any doubt about the areas of any of the shapes we have already done the videos on the areas of different geometric shapes so you can go through those videos and i have also made a video where i'm talking about the areas of most of the geometrical shapes so i'm sharing the link in the description section you can watch that video and if you have any doubt you can definitely ask me in few hours i'll be posting problem set for day number 12 so Keep watching MathMart and bye-bye till then.